So I want to give you a quick rundown of the File Explorer in Windows 10. Now, File Explorer is not to be confused with Internet Explorer. That is the default web browser that came with Windows for years and years and years. It has since been replaced by Edge, but File Explorer, which is completely different, is still here. Now, File Explorer is going to change a lot depending upon how you use stuff. So I want to show you some standard areas, though, of File Explorer so you have an idea of what it is that we're actually using and doing. So I'm going to first come over here to my upper left-hand side, and this is what's going to happen if you open it up normally. You're going to come to the Quick Access section. On the top left-hand corner, you're going to see a list of all your most recent folders that you either normally access, access most often, or have just recently accessed. Now, some of them you'll notice have little pins beside them, and those are pinned or they're always going to be there because they are so commonly used. You can choose to pin an item or to unpin an item if it's something you don't use. You can, if you want to, right click an item and choose to unpin from quick access. Likewise, you can right click on an item that's not pinned and also remove from quick access, or you can choose to pin to quick access. So you get a lot of flexibility depending upon how you want to be using your quick access section. Across the top, if you're under quick access, you'll see those same folders. You might ask, well, why are there two different folders with the same name? Well, they happen to be in different drives, one on a thumb drive and one on my local drive. So Windows is smart enough to identify that. You'll also see some most recently accessed files that you've used. So you can see that here. On the left-hand side, you'll see a link to OneDrive if you're connected to the Microsoft 365. You also find information on this PC as well as external drives and finally your network. If you click on this PC, you're going to see things like your desktop, your documents folders, your download folders, etc. It used to be old formats. You only went to like the C drive and other drives on your files. You can still go here and double click to find files. Now in doing this, you may want to see different views than what you see here currently. To change that, you could go to View, and you'll notice that right now I have Details set, but I can also show extra large icons, small icons, and things in between. I can choose how I want to sort by an item here. If I want to, if I want to group items, I can group by items or choose not to. I can even add additional columns in certain areas or allow checkboxes if I want to be able to select multiple items recently. Now, underneath my view, I can also add a preview pane. So when I select a file, I get a preview of what information is available in there. I personally typically do not use this because it tends to slow down the machine as it has to open up each file that you click on. Under my share tab, I can easily email a file, burn it to my disk because I have a CD burner on my computer, or select it to be added to a zip file, and then maybe I send the zip file. Under home, I can do things like copy and paste, just as I would inside of something like Microsoft Word. I can also copy and move files around, delete a file, or what I normally do, add a new folder. So there's a lot of different things that you can do inside of Windows Explorer. And you might be looking at this going, well, wait a second, my windows always have the ribbon bar showing. Well, I can right click and choose to minimize the ribbon if I want to, which I'm doing here. That allows me to see a little bit more of my screen, a little bit more of my files. That just makes it easier to see more content at one time, make it a little bit faster for how I work. You, of course, may see something slightly differently. But that's a real quick rundown of what you're going to see inside of File Explorer and how you can use it.